Hi, welcome to another edition of Between Two Ferns, the Oscar edition. This is part two. I would like to welcome my first guest, Jessica Chastain. Jessica Chastain. Uh, Jessica is an actress. Uh, you were nominated for uh, Zero Dark Thirty. That's correct. Zero Dark Thirty. Is that a movie about Chris Brown? No. How hard did you fight to keep all the torture in the film? Well, you know, it's really important that the film is as accurate as possible, so. It's about uh, capturing Bin Laden, Zero Dark Thirty. Yes. Documentary? No, but, you well, know. Who cares then? If it's not the real thing. Yeah. Because you're just playing somebody that actually caught him. Yeah. It would have been nice to get the, the actual person. Well, she's undercover in the CIA, so no one can know what she looks like. Well, doesn't she look like you? I can't tell you that. So she looks like an average looking redhead with a weird dress on? Mm. Oh, they're playing you off. It's done? Yeah, you have to leave. Okay. Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Welcome. Thank you. This is Sally Field, everyone. Yes, it is. I had read that you had gain, gained 25 pounds for the movie. Yeah, I did. How did you do that? Eat Anne Hathaway? Hmm. Do you look at a penny differently now that you've been in, in Lincoln? Does, it, does that make, does that? I just have to tell you something really, really honestly. I hate pennies. I hate them. So you're not Jewish? I, not that I know of. I think I'm Catholic. Well, I'd like to thank Sally Field yes. for coming to the Absolutely. show. Absolutely. Very uh, nice to be and here. And really, really, really a pleasure. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you. We're going this way. Well, I'm very, very excited about having uh, my next guest. Uh, it's a real pleasure to have him here because he doesn't do a lot of interviews and he's chosen to be here. Please welcome Daniel Day-Lewis. Hey there, how you doing? What are you doing here? Oh, Emmanuel Day-Lewis. Daniel Taylor's. Thank you for coming by. Uh, welcome, Bradley Cooper. Hey, Bradley. Good to be here. Nice to see you again. Nice to see you, Zach. I got your text about how bummed out you were about it. that was the start of Black History Month. Are you nominated? I uh, yeah. For what? For for. For best actor, yeah, best actor. How's bragging camp going? Well, I've written a, I've written a speech. Um, really? Since you haven't written a speech, yeah, I had wrote a speech. That's really thoughtful of you. Yeah, I didn't. I know you're busy. When, that's really. That's thank you. Yeah, that's it. Are you serious? Yeah, go ahead and test it out. When did you write this? Like uh, it's been a couple weeks on it. Thank you. I've just I've just called Daniel Day Lewis to congratulate him on his victory. So I wish that I had been able to fulfill my dream of being a talented, respected actor, but the Academy chosen someone better. I, it just sucks. I'm a loser. I'm going to punch it up. You want me to? You, in that speech, you don't win. You, don't, you know you don't make a concession speech. You should. So I just don't understand. It's like this is the first time in my life that I'm actually part of something. And you know, you know what that means to me, to be a part of something. That's like my Achilles heel. It's like I just want to be included. But well, why don't you join like the Boy going, Scouts or I don't something wanna, if you want to be a part of something? Why, I, I want to be a part of this community. I found like a fellow person that I fucking love. I used to go see your stand-up all the time. And, it doesn't really you know, play well. You know what I mean? No, I did this victim card that I'm you I'm not being with. a victim. Well, what I are you being? It's friends. That's what friends do. You fight with your brother. I watch you fight with your brother. Yeah, you don't have to bring that up right now on this internet show. My God, all you fucking care about is your goddamn show, no, man. No, but all you care about is your fucking furs. It's like it's all your fucking furs, man. It's a fucking joke. I can't you stand it. Throw my furs in my Who face. Who gives a fuck? You care more about your furs than yourself. You fucking. I'm so sick of your fucking furs, man. It's fucking bullshit. Bullshit. I'll call you later. <laughs> 